Good morning once again. Your spirit is lifted up. I can hear you. Yes. So if your faith is enhanced and you are finding yourself there, so what are we expecting from you? The spirit will increase. The spirit will what? Will increase. To the degree you stand in reverence of his word. Tell your neighbor, the spirit will increase to the degree. I can hear you. You stand in reverence of his word. Are you with me? The spirit of God will what? Increase to the degree that the major you stand in reverence, in honor of his word. So I hope you honor his word. Ask your neighbor how much you value the word of God. I can hear you. That's it. What do you say? In Jesus' name, the power that flow from his name will be in proportion to your law for his will. In Jesus' name. People see it as a tradition. Amen. Even if you don't believe, you say amen. The power that will flow from his name, Jesus' name, will be in proportion to your love for his will. In Jesus' name. So you can know if you love Jesus. And you can know how much you love Jesus. True? In Jesus' name. So some people say, I know how much you love Jesus. Say, I don't know. If you don't know how much you love Jesus, okay? You used to pray at home. Or when I'm praying, say, in Jesus' name, you say, Amen. The power that flow from his name will be in proportion to your love for his will. You can know how much you love Jesus. Tell your neighbor. Again? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You say, oh, how much I love Jesus? I don't know what you're talking about. Any moment from now, say, be the neighbor. What happened? Determine how much I love Jesus. Be he the power that flow from his name, be he will be in proportion to my love for his will. If there is no law, he cannot come into the scene. In Jesus' name, he cannot come out and say, ah, what are you saying? What do you want me to do without law? No. Because he himself is law. Ask your neighbor how much you love Jesus. You can know. Tell your neighbor you can know. I can hear you. How much you love Jesus. So now, to love Jesus more and more and more by attending to his word and keep his word in your heart because his word is your life and head to your flesh. People keep saying, how will I believe? Uh, there is no other way to believe than to act on what God has spoken. That's it. Act on what God has what? Has spoken. That shall not kill, that shall not destroy, that shall not this, that shall not that, that shall not that, 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 that. Act on what God has spoken. And Believing demands action. Action. The problem of believing is made easy, made simple, when we know that it is what? Acting on what God has spoken. 
Simple. How will I believe now? I, don't, I thought I believe. That is what the book of Romans 10, verse 9 to 10. He said, in our heart, we believe. How can we believe in our heart? To believe in our heart means our spirit, that is our heart, acting upon the words. That is the thing. Our heart means spirit, act upon the word. That is the word of God. That means it's not meta ascent. It's not something we can memorize. It must become an integral part. When the word of God begins to dominate your heart, you begin to believe. Can you see? It's not when you memorize when it's here. You can preach it or teach it. No. When the word begins to dominate your heart, that is, heart, your spirit, you begin to believe. And when you begin to believe, your character and your conduct begin to be influenced. The way you behave before, you lie, you just see yourself, thou shalt not lie. You hate, you realize that thou shalt not hate. Acting on the word is letting God act through you. Acting on the word then gives God an opportunity to hear you, to talk to you, to eat with you, to speak to you. All what you are saying, talk much about faith. But don't forget that it is this faith that releases the belief in our hearts. The belief will remain locked. But faith will take the key and open and ask the belief to come out. If not, the belief will remain there perpetually. But faith opened it, unlocked it. So say, I believe, but where is the faith? To open the door for belief to come out. Christians believe today, but their belief is dormant because it's in prison. The belief is in prison without faith. I have money. Where is the money? It's in the bank. Go and cash it, or you cannot cash it. But you know you have money, but the money is there, it's saved. That is the same belief without faith. Faith is practical, it's actual, just actual. Like a good example I was given you some times ago. You pray because you, you saw weather change, become darker, and you're about to go to war. So it seems it's about to rain, and you need to go to war. You now say you're a Christian. You now went on your knee to say, Lord, stop this rain. Stop this rain. Stop this rain. And you say to yourself, you have the conviction that God will stop the rain. And you say, Amen, Amen. And you laugh, you dress up. Why are you going? You took umbrella along with you. What is the purpose of that umbrella? In case it's rain, that nullify your faith. That is out of unbelief. That is belief without faith. It's like you are worried before that some people will come and disturb you, attack you. Now you pray, after prayer, you continue that worry, distress, belief without faith. Already you are here for salvation of your soul and some issue you want God to attend to. Now, having access to sit and to watch and you are inside the church at last, why you still begin to worry again? You believe without faith. And uh, the belief in our heart is released by faith.
How can that your belief be released? Mm. That's the question. So, the power that flow from his name, Jesus, will be in proportion to our law for his will. You can know if you are a Christian. You can know how much he loves you. You can know. Can I ask a question? How much you love Jesus? Very much. Very much? Not how much Jesus loves you, because he's always loved you. Okay? How much you love Jesus? I believe that my life depends on Jesus. I can't live without him. You mean your life depends on Jesus? You cannot live without him. May you accept him as your creator. Yes, I accept Jesus as my great creator. But you are not accept me as your guidance. He created you, you agree, but you never agree he should guide you. That is it. Are you with me? You can create something and allow that thing to be guided by something else. That is the life we live. That we accept him as our creator, but we never see him as our guidance. See him as my creator. Now see him as your guardian. You can create something and they give it to another creator to guide it. Just like adoption. So you need to know how much you love Jesus, not how much Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you so much. How much you love him? That is a question now. So how can you wake up in the morning, you pray without the direction, not that you sense his presence to pray. You just see it as a reason, conventional, the way you are brought up, that you must wake up and pray. So uh, sometimes you must pray. Not that you say he's present, not that he instructs you or you hear. I mean, if I'm praying for you now, you say you are sick and I'm praying for you, I must sense God's healing, touching you, if I can say you are healed. If I'm not saying God's healing, touching you, and I say you are healed, it means it's unfair. I must sense God's healing, touch you, and say, ah, you are here. And by the time you do, ah, I'm here. Yes. I must sense God's healing, touching you. I must sense God's deliverance, touching you. God's blessing, touching you. If I don't know whom you are in the spirit, I would not be telling you, oh, you are there, you are there, you are there, and just guess. We don't follow him in guest on our own. You listen to what we are saying because all your mind is to receive healing. You don't know how much you love Jesus. Yes, man of God. That's why you are here. Yes. You want to know how much? Yes, man of God. By attending to his word and allow his word in the midst of your heart. Yes, man of God. And see his word as your life and heal it to your flesh. Yes, man of God. So you are here now for healing? Yes. And you say you believe, yes. but you are still worried. Okay. <sighs> that worry nullify your faith. Okay, men of God. If you have faith, yes. not just believe, but you have faith, you begin to give thanks to God when that healing has not even come. Okay, men of God. Hmm? Yes, yes, men of God. Difficulty in walking due to lumbar spondylosis and osteoarthritis in my knees, in my thigh, in my back, in my waist, and my feet. The 
femmes souffrent de difficultés à marcher et de l'ostéoarthrose au niveau de ses genoux. Pourtant, encore, ça l'embert. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This is why I say, come on. Yes. Because I can sense God's healing touch you. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, man of God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I can cry. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I'm healed for so many years, suffering with arthritis. Thank you, Jesus. I can heal. I can tell. The spirit will be released to the degree that we stand in reverence of his will. How do we reverence his will? By attending to his will, allowing his will in the midst of our heart, and see his will as our life, and healing to all our flesh. What happened to this woman now has affected you there? Me, as this woman was here, you are here there, you don't know. But he still carry the gadget, carry everything until the man touched me or talked to me. As the woman here, here, I can sense God's healing touching you. That's it. Carry this thing from your mouth. Stand up. You are here. Uh, go. I can pray. Pray. Yes. And I feel cold air come into me. I was hot before. But now I feel my body cold. Why should I be the one to tell you? Was it before I told you or? As soon as that lady stood up here and started running, I felt the cold come to me. Go and tell them. Let me go and measure that. That's it. Look, when the ten sick people are together, if one is here by the power of God, all other are here. It's, it's a flame. The power is like a smoke. If I prepare fire here, the smoke that will come out, every assembly will smile. If that's faith. Hmm? 